Welcome to Sound On. I'm Katie Owen, and this is part two of Festival. We're taking you backstage again to chat to the artists and find out what's going on. If you haven't watched part one, then make sure you give that one a watch too. Festival has served up a massive slice of indie pop that's bound to get you grooving in the form of the Orioles. What a treat! Hey, we're the Orioles. I'm Esme, you play bass. I'm Henry and I play guitar. And I'm Sidoni and I play the drums. Right, one of our favourite venues in the north of England, yeah. Invisible Women Factory, it's proper warehouse vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. We, we were saying it's like the White Hotel of Liverpool, kind of. Proper yeah. good vibes, man. And we are currently in the backstage bird room. Above the bird's nest, I would Above say. Above the bird's nest. Of Festival yeah. 2021. 2021. Amazing to see such like a female fronted lineup, like yeah, yeah. all the bands totally, like yeah, female fronted and smashing it, like all the best pick of the crop to be honest. Yeah, Revo did a really good job uh, doing that. That's great. Yeah, blessed. Loads of Lucia, Lucia, Lucia and, and the best boys, boys. Um, all the way from Glasgow. Pins. Phoebe Green, Manchester had uh, played as well. Big journey I saw playing. Big I'm journey, check, yeah. check them out. At, a later date, but they're banging. So nice to finally be back playing as well, and in uh, such an amazing city with like such a rich musical heritage. So yeah, it's always going to be a good one in Liverpool. We were just reminiscing one time when our. <laughs> When someone in our touring party kicked everyone out of the tour room for us so we could protect our, our, beers, our beers, our Budweiser's. <laughs> Which was quite funny because that's it's not us. It doesn't represent it us. It doesn't at all. represent us. <laughs> Once at all, we allow ourselves to be divas. <laughs> We're going into the studio tomorrow morning, straight after this gig. Um, <laughs> and yeah, our, our next album we're, is underway. And we're about halfway through, so yeah. Should Quattro. Be out, should be out next year at some point. I'd say it's more of 3.5. 3.5 actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, 3.5. We've played quite a lot of gigs and gone straight to the studio. It's dead Larry when we get there. We're like, up, set, like drunkenly setting up a drum kit. <laughs> like, three in the morning. But, Almost yeah. wish we could go right there, but it's like a four hour drive, so. Yeah. Gigs plentiful, screenings many full. Radio shows. Parties. Parties are plenty. Parties are plenty. Radio shows. Radio show and rider rider reviews uh, up, and oh, down yeah. the, up and down the country. Green Man next weekend. Shout out Sabra Hummus. Sabra Hummus. Green Man, if you're there, come say hey come hang out. I think it's just so nice to see uh, so many different bands and people in one space and everyone's kind of chatting and mooching about and meeting new people, <clears throat> discovering new music and See, filling your boots. Filling your boots. Filling your boots. And like, it's all about the human connection between like everyone in a space, you know what yeah. I mean? And like vibes and the, 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 the sound vibrations. Yeah. The good vibrations. And the bad. Yeah, because both are good and bad. We can vibe that. <laughs> that was dark, man, but I know what you mean. No, but bad vibrations are important, man. No, it's yin, yin and yang. 
We need the bad to make the good good. And the bad, the good to make the bad bad. Bad, 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 bad. not good. Cool. have been very busy over the past year as we found out when we spoke to them at festival i'm now backstage at festival joined by the lovely pins i am super excited to catch up with them how are you doing girls we're good, excited to be here, excited to be back. Really excited to play in this place, like it's such a nice venue. They're definitely just excited, I'm not, I'm not nervous, I'm just calm, just really happy to be playing again. How does it feel like playing a gig again? I mean, I can't say that it's not a little bit weird, because it is, but so is going to the supermarket or doing anything that, you know, everything's a little bit weird now, but uh, I'm up for it. It's, it's really strange seeing new people's faces in real life. Do you find that? Like, people yeah, you've not met, like, you've you don't know. The way you've not seen anyone for ages and then they look so different or aged. <laughs> I like fashion's change. Yeah. You know, people Everyone have been stuck inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird after like staying on, on your own for the past year, then trying to socialise. At the start, I was like, hi, I can't remember how to speak. <laughs> Any other artists on the lineup that you're excited about playing with or seeing? Yeah, I'm really excited to see the Orioles. Um, so I just watched Sky Valley Mistress, who we've known for ages, and Black Honey. We're on later. Yeah. We don't Have you got anything in the pipeline coming up? Tour releases or album? Yeah, we've got tour coming up, that's the next thing. So in September we're doing a Revive Live, like um, lottery fueled money show. <laughs> <laughs> um, followed by our own headline tour uh, into October. And then, I don't know, we just did a release that was like piano versions of some of our album songs. So that's out now. You can give that a cheeky watch on our channel, Sound On. So you mentioned you're a teacher. Not yet. Did I pick up on that? Yes, um, I'm qualified. Uh, I'm a qualified primary school teacher, but it's something I just did in lockdown. Um, I spent the year studying to do that whilst we couldn't do any gigs and stuff. So yeah, that's what I spent my time doing basically. But I've not started any teaching or anything so like that. So she might be teaching your children. children. That is really cool. Imagine having a teacher in primary school who's a rock star. Thank you so much for chatting to me. Your set was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Big Moon make their live return to festival this weekend after the release of their brilliant second album in 2020, Walking Like We Do, they will be rearing to go and smash it on stage tonight. Let's go take a look. everyone we spoke to today at festival part two don't forget to check out part one featuring so many amazing artists like working men's club and many more 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Sound On for more like this.